what's up you guys uh, this is my second video I um, I made my first video like two months ago and then I went on vacation and my little camera thing broke so I couldn't make any more videos when I got back home and then a bunch of other stuff happened it's been a crazy crazy couple months so I'm excited to get back and make another video uh, it's Halloween or not Halloween it's October, the month of Halloween. So I'm very excited because uh, I did some Halloween looks last year that I, well, I never videoed them. I just posted them on Instagram. Um, and everybody loved them. So hopefully I do myself justice this year. Um, uh, my light, I'm sorry about my lighting. Uh, I use my window. Um, and I keep doing whatever this is. I'm nervous. I was very nervous in my first video, so I'm trying to be more myself. Um, but in honor of my mother, uh, we are doing a witch today. Um, she, when I was younger, she, ha she hated Halloween, so she, which sounds awful. <laughs> I love my mom to death. Uh, but she, she would never buy us like new costumes. I think I went as a lion, Batman, and then for like seven years in a row, I was a witch. So today we're doing a witch. Yeah, we're going to do a, uh, I looked it up. I think it's called Pagan Witch. Um, I hope that that's right. Um, that's just what my inspiration photo says it is. So if I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, so yeah, so welcome to the month of mischief. Uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I will have a new Halloween look for you. Um, there will be a total of 14, so I'm starting now, so you have enough time to decide what look you want to do. So, uh, let's just jump right into it. Alright you guys, first starting off with the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer on my nose, and then we're going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade uh, Porcelain. We are going to blend that out with the Artiste Oval 7 brush. You don't have to use a brush. This brush actually left quite a bit of streakiness. Um, so I would recommend using a beauty sponge, uh, but you could totally make it work if you don't have a sponge. Just use your brush. Uh, going in again with the foundation just to add a little bit more coverage in the areas we need it. Uh, blending that again with the brush. Going in with the uh, BH Cosmetics Contour Palette, there is a pale white shade in here. Uh, we are using that to set our entire face. We want to look as pale as possible. We are being a witch. Witches are spooky. They don't go outside. Um, so we are packing that on. It's okay. It'll look a little bit crazy. Uh, going in with, the, with a uh, black eyeliner. You can totally use any brow product you have. I just wanted my eyebrows to be very dark. Uh, and all I had was a black eyeliner. Um, going in with the same contour palette, we're going to warm up our cheeks with uh, a, a contour shade. Um, we're going to put that on the forehead just to warm it up a little bit. Uh, then we're going to take a big fluffy brush to tone that down because I went a little heavy handed. Um, then we're going to take uh, the same pale shade we used all over the face to define our cheeks a little bit more. Uh, and we're going to take it on the T-zone just to give back any paleness that we lost. So taking a pale gray shade for, for my crease on a fluffy brush. Uh, you can use any pale gray shade you have. Um, this is from the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean palette. Then I'm going in with the contour shade we used just to warm up that gray a little bit. Uh, then I'm taking a white shade and packing that all over the lid. It doesn't matter what kind of white it is as long as it's matte. Uh, we're going to blend that out. This look will not work unless it's blended. Uh, then we're going in with a dark brown shade from the contour palette. I think it's the darkest shade in the palette. Uh, we're putting that on the outer corner just to give it a little more uh, dimension and then we're going to blend that out once again. Um, now we're going to take a liquid eyeliner. This is from Tarte. Uh, I messed up. <laughs> That's okay. Um, if you mess up, you can always fix it. You can start over. Do what you want. I am not the best at liquid eyeliner, so I this took me longer than it should have. Um, 
Now I am taking a black eyeshadow to fix my mistake. Um, the thing with black eyeshadow is it, there, it's either very pigmented or it's not pigmented at all. Um, if it is pigmented, go very lightly and blend. So just work in steps, pack it on, blend, pack it on, blend, build it up to the darkness that you want it. Um, I went back in with the pale white shade because we had lost it with the black. Now we're going in with the Benefit Cosmetics Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I think that's what it's called. Um, just on the upper lashes. Now we are going in with the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean uh, face palette. This is the palest highlighter in the palette. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. I think it might be called Starlight. Um, we're going to put that on the uh, high points of our cheeks, our inner corners, uh, the tip of the nose, bridge of the nose, and then our Cupid's bow. Now we are going to put on uh, some eyeliner in our waterline. This is the same eyeliner we used for our eyebrows. Um, then we're going to take uh, that gray shade we use for our crease and we're going to smoke out our lower lash line. Um, it can be as smoky as you want it. You don't have to do this part. Uh, then we're going to take the contour shade we used and we're going to blow that out even more just to make sure it's uh, completely blended. Now we're going to take uh, some big lashes. These are the biggest lashes I've ever worn. Um, I just wanted a pair that would cover up my mistake even more because the eyeshadow didn't really work. So uh, lash, if you ever make a mistake, just toss on a lash and it'll, you'll be good to go. Um, so these I put on with the Tardis uh, uh, lash glue in clear. Do not use black. Do not use black uh, lash glue. That is a mistake. Now we're going in with the NYX liquid suede and the shade Alien. When I bought the shade, I could have sworn it was black, but then when I put it on, it's just a very, very dark gray color. Um, so you, if you want to use black, that's fine. That was what I was going for, but it's it's what it is. Um, then we're going to take uh, the same eyeliner we used for our wing and we're going to draw a moon on our forehead. You can draw an upwards moon like I did, you can do a downwards moon. Just take your time on this part <laughs> and just just take your time. It, I have a very shaky hand so this was the this part took the longest for me. Um, you don't have to put the moon, you can always like make a stamp and then stamp it on your forehead which is what I wish I would have done because the moon was not even <laughs> but that's okay now I'm taking the same lash glue and I am putting some dots all over uh, around the moon and we're going to stick on some Swarovski crystals around it the first one is a little skull uh, you can get these at Michael's uh, you I think you can also get them at Hobby Lobby um, I'll link it down below and then I'm putting just another crystal uh, this one's just round uh, putting that below the skull and then I'm going to put uh, some crystals on either side of the moon and then after that we are going to put one above the moon and then we're going to take some smaller ones the, the ones I just put on were uh, kind of like a clear clear gray one and then now we're putting on some just solid black crystals. These are smaller than the ones we put on before. Um, I actually don't, at the end of this, I actually put on uh, another crystal below the one on my nose, so you can do that too if you want to. Uh, and that's it. Alright you guys, this is the final look. I hope you like it. Um, I am very pleased with how it turned out. Uh, it is very different from the witches I was when I was a kid. Uh, I messed up on this eye. It's not a big deal if you mess up. You can wipe it off, you can start over if you have time, or you can just throw on a lash like I did and call it good. Um, and wherever you're going, it's probably gonna be dark since it's Halloween. So, um, the moon was the most stressful part. It took me the longest, but the rest of it only took me about an hour and a half to do. Um, it was all very easy. Um, 
what else I got this little septum ring on Amazon for like six dollars the crystals you can get uh, on my at Michaels uh, or probably any other craft store I will link them down below um, but yeah so if you like this look please subscribe to my channel if you're not already uh, I will have 13 more Halloween looks coming up this month uh, for the month of mischief um, so yeah I hope you have a great day wherever you are and happy Halloween.